Tommy on the surface is he's, a, he's your run of the mill outlaw. He's a, he's a man who doesn't live by any rules. Uh, he's a man who is immoral. He's a man who will lie, cheat, and steal to get what he wants. Uh, but he's also someone who's dealt with um, a lot of trauma in his life. He was uh, he served in the Civil War at Fort Wagner, which is a particularly bloody battle. Um, I think he lost a lot of friends. I think he's lost a lot of family. Uh, he mentions in the film that um, uh, his wife and child were taken from him. So, in, in Tommy is an exploration of how a person can deal with their trauma in a way that is. Uh, it's kind of cyclical. It's a, it's a cyclical uh, uh, way of dealing with your trauma where you're actually not dealing with it at all. You're actually just reliving it constantly. And you can't get out of that kind of hamster wheel of, of living that trauma. Mo is someone who's different. She's also suffered immensely. Um, not only because she was in bondage, but also because um, she also served in the war. She did some horrific things herself in the war and has, has had to deal with that. And she, you know. She's known many of her family um, to be killed. Um, but she, she, she handles her trauma much differently. She sees a, a path forward. She sees that you can use all the trauma and, and the hate um, and the hardship and turn it into something better, better for you and for the next generation and, and, and um, try and be a, a, a beacon of hope. Um, and basically, it's kind of like, I'm kind of the devil, essentially. I'm trying to lure her into my way of thinking. I'm trying to get her to not be so righteous. I'm questioning why she's doing this and, and uh, why she thinks that. Um, she owes the world anything after what it's done to her. Letitia's the right actress to play this part because she has this um, inner nobility about her. Um... She's very noble and she's very strong as a, a, as a person, um, but also just in terms of being on set with her as, as, as an actress as well, uh, and seeing what she's doing with this and bringing that sense of um, dignity to her character. Um, Letitia really has that. You know, she, you know, when she, whenever you meet her, she, just, she has this um, real sense of her own sense of dignity and, and, and she's really brought that to the, to the character. Um, you know, and I, th I think we're kind of good foils for one another, really. I, th I think, um, you know, we've really been going at each other on the set <laughs> quite a lot and, um, and really enjoying it, really uh, kind of digging into the script and seeing what, what's underneath these words and how can we make it better and, and um, pushing each other and surprising each other. And, and she's she surprised me many times and has... has has given performances on the set where I've just been blown away. And not only me, I think a lot of the people on the set have been blown away by by what she's um, capable of doing as an actor. His spirit, Anthony's got this spirit which is um, this tenacity to him, and you need that as a filmmaker. You need to have this um, tenacious will to get it done because everything's tr trying to stop you <laughs> on, on a film set. Everything's trying to mess up your day, basically. And um, he just has so much will in him that he, 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 he gets it done. And he's brought a scope and a beauty, honestly. A lot of the images that I've seen, are just, they just look spectacular. Um, and it's lifted it off the page in a way that I could never have thought of. I really thought it was just a field at night. <laughs> so to see these vistas and this scope and these sunsets and these dawn shots and these sunrises, um, it, 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 it just, it makes the film feel um, so much bigger. Michael came in and did a great job. Um, you know, it's always, it's always hard to kind of come in on a, in a film where you have essentially like one very long scene and make an impact. Um, but it's such an interesting dynamic that um, they came up with for that scene because obviously Mo Washington is alone and, she, and she's taking care of this infamous... Um, outlaw who we've seen he, he'll kill anyone, he'll do anything, he'll lie he'll he'll, um, he'll do anything to escape basically, uh, and then she sees you know, this, this black man, this well-dressed black man come out of the darkness and treat her with kindness, you know, and treat her with um, decency, and it's, he's kind of the first person who's really done that in the entire film, you know, it says a lot about the, obviously the, the time that this is set, so to see what she believes is a friendly face 
is so, um, you know, you want that for her. You want her to have a, a guardian in this kind of dangerous world. You, you want her to have almost a, a father. Not that she needs one, of course, but just, just some comfort. Um, and I thought Michael did a fantastic job of kind of making her believe him and bringing her in and, and being that father figure, putting his hands on her shoulder and, um, you know, being that, that kind of that paternal energy that I think she immediately just wants to, tr to trust. She, she's so desperate to have something to hold on to. The story of Surrounded is, is centers around Mo Washington, who is a former slave who joined the war, who hid as a man, who picked up a gun, who fought next to um, men in every capacity, was just, was just as strong as they were and fought just as valiantly as they did, and kind of bought her way out of slavery, essentially. Um, traded in some of her soldiering um, paychecks for a gold claim, and she's on the road trying to start a new life, to put all of that past behind her, all of that, um, the horrors of her, of her life, put it behind her and start again and start anew, and hope that she can build a better future for her and, um, and others like her. Um, of course, that all goes wrong because uh, she's, her stagecoach is intercepted by Tommy Walsh, the infamous outlaw, and his gang. Um, and basically, we quickly learn that Tommy is wanted because he, he did this huge bank robbery and he's hid the money out here somewhere. And in all the chaos, um, Mo has lost her future. Her gold claim has been destroyed, um, much like the stagecoach. And she is left res as the one responsible to, uh, to care and watch over um, Tommy while they go get help, essentially.